Hi everybody, this is Jenny. I'm coming to share with you how I am making DIY sprays and I'm doing my own papers. Um, I did not use anything expensive or special on these. I did these using products that everybody has at home. So I'm gonna share with you how I got these effects. Okay, so there's some of these here. Um, this one right here is a technique that was used with a store-bought spray. This was used, I mean made, using the um, Delusions ink spray. Um, and you can also use the Tim Holtz sprays. My sister Megan Heft made this uh, journal for my daughter. And her pages in here are beautiful, as you can see. She has a technique um, that she makes her sprays go a long way and she gets these beautiful colors. I'm not going to show you that technique. Um, I did try it and as you can see, it looks beautiful. But at the end of my video, you will see a circle with her picture in it. Click on that circle, it will take you over to her channel. I'll have her do a video on how she's getting this effect. And um, you can subscribe to her and see her other videos. So getting into this, the effects that I showed you, I am getting by using just regular acrylic paint. This is Apple Barrel Honeysuckle Red. And then I have um, Folk Art Extreme Glitter that I'm adding. I'm sorry, I'm gonna move my camera just a little bit. Okay, I'm using these two. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting about a quarter of an inch of paint, a quarter of an inch of the Extreme Glitter, shaking it well. And I like to go heavy on my sprays. I know a lot of people hold their um, you know, bottle back further, but I prefer you know, a lot of color on my papers. So as you can see, you get a beautiful effect. There is a lot of glitter in here, which you can't see right now because I'm not gonna dry it because it's pretty late here. But it does show up on um, the papers. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on there. But that's just using the Folk Art um, Extreme Glitter Paint. Now, if you wanted to um, use Glimmer Mist, now Jenny, you had asked me about these Glimmer Mists, and again, I have a heavy hand with these. I would assume that you're supposed to hold them back further than I do, but I hold mine back about six inches and I just give it a light mist. And then I'll go in a little heavier if I want to in some places. And you can add water to this as well. And when you add water, sorry, my shadow is in the camera. When you add some water, you're gonna get this effect. Um, so you go a little heavier on the spray, add some water, and you get this watercolor effect here. So you don't need to buy the expensive store-bought sprays to get a really beautiful um, effect. I did some where I did add some water and a little more shimmer. You can use any um, cheap crushed up eyeshadow will add shimmer to your mixture. I also use just regular food coloring, um, same thing, a quarter of an inch um, of food coloring. Of course, more if you want to, uh, you know, like a more, <laughs> I can't talk, <laughs> a more bold color. The more you use, the bolder the color is going to be. You just fill your bottle up with water, put a little bit of Mod Podge, um, you know, a little bit of this paint, maybe some eyeshadow, anything if you want to add some glamour. If not, that's fine. And just spray. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you give this a try. It's a really great way to, you know, use these sprays and not spend five or six dollars for one. You can do it. You can make every color and have them right there at home. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great night. Bye.